Hi, I'm Joni Hilton, and I'd like to share a story with you that I hope will warm your Christmas. A couple of years ago, I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer, and following one of the surgeries, I was in my hospital bed, in my hospital room all by myself, and I heard my name called. And I thought, like we do, well, that was nothing, <laughs> and kind of ignored it, and then it happened again. And then I thought, oh my gosh, what if I'm dying and these are my relatives coming to collect me and take me to the next life? And I don't think I'm ready to go just yet. It was kind of like, I don't know. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to ask the nurses if they get a lot of this, if people talk about their, hearing their name and then they die. And um, it, was, it was just kind of scary. But I thought, I'll, I'll see. When, when a nurse comes in, I'll ask. And one did. And I started by saying, are you a woman of faith? And she said, yes, I am. And then she left. And I thought, that's not who I need to talk to. So then another nurse came in, and I asked her the same question. I said, are you a woman of faith? And she said, here's, here's exactly what she said, no, nothing. And I said, so you don't believe in God? And she said, well, I think there's probably a great creator of the universe or something. And I said, that's God. And I said, I have an idea for you, how you can know. Um, later today, find a place that's quiet, where you can be alone, and I want you to pray these four words. Do you love me? And she said, she went like this, oh, I just got chills. And I said, and you just got your answer. What a blessing it was to be used to give her this way, this easy way to connect. And I, I thought, you know, if only everyone could know it's that easy to ask Heavenly Father if He loves you. And maybe it's, maybe that's why I heard my name because Heavenly Father wanted me to pay attention because <laughs> an opportunity was right around the corner. And I do pray for these opportunities. But because of I had stitches and I was just post-surgery, maybe he thought I wouldn't be right on it. And so I wasn't being taken home. I was being taught. And I was able to give her something to try. And this whole month when we celebrate the birth of our Savior, what a wonderful time to make this a month of connection to Heavenly Father and our precious Lord and Savior. He is our greatest friend. He atoned for everything we've ever done or experienced. And He loves us so much, and He's there to help us anytime we want. What a great thing to connect through prayer and to ask if there's someone who can use some little thing I might know, please put that person in my path. And that's what happened. And I'm so grateful that I was in the right place at the right time to share that thought with her. And I hope she takes it and runs with it and becomes totally converted and happy and joyous to reconnect with her Heavenly Father again. And I hope we all do that all month. I hope we remember it isn't about the, the wrappings and the gifts and the feasting and this the music even. It's about the birth of our Lord and Savior. And maybe this story will help you keep that kind of central in your heart this whole month. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful Christmas.